I'm going to start a book called Frog and Toad, Frog and Toad All Year by Arnold Lobel and the, or Lobel. Uh, these books, if you're in second grade, are very popular. So it's a chapter book though. First chapter is Down the Hill. Down the Hill. And here's the picture. Frog knocked on Toad's door. Toad, wake up, he cried. Come out and see how wonderful the winter is. I will not, said Toad. I am in my warm bed. Winter is beautiful, said Frog. Come out and have fun. Blah, said Toad. I do not have any winter clothes. Frog came into the house. I have brought you some things to wear, he said. Frog pushed a coat down over the top of Toad. Frog pulled snow pants up over the bottom of Toad. He put a hat and scarf on Toad's head. Help, cried Toad. My best friend is trying to kill me. I am only getting you ready for winter, said Frog. There he's putting the coat on. There he's got him all bundled up. I didn't know frogs and toads were friends. Frog and toad went outside. They tramped through the snow. We will ride down this big hill on my sled, said Frog. Not me, said Toad. Do not be afraid, said Frog. I will be with you on the sled. It will be a fine, fast ride. Toad, you sit in front. I will sit right behind you. The sled began to move down the hill. Here we go, said Frog. Toad looked scared. A crow flew nearby. Hello, crow, shouted Toad. Look at Frog and me. We can ride a sl sled better than anybody in the whole world. Okay, where's Frog? I see Toad, but where's Frog? But Toad, said the crow, you are alone on the sled. Toad looked around. He saw that Frog was not there. I am all alone, screamed Toad. Oh no, I don't want to be by myself. Bang, the sled hit a tree. Thud, the sled hit a rock. Plop, the sled dived into the snow. Frog came running down the hill. He pulled Toad out of the snow. I saw everything, said Frog. You did very well by yourself. I did not, said Toad, but there is one thing that I can do all by myself. And what is that, asked Frog. I can go home, said Todd. Winter may be beautiful, but my bed is much better. Chapter two, the corner. Frog and Toad were, Toad were caught in the rain. They ran to Frog's house. I am all wet, said Toad. The day is spoiled. Have some tea and cake, said Frog. The rain will stop. If you want to stand near the stove, your clothes will soon be dry. I will tell you a story while we're waiting, said Frog. Oh, good, said Toad. Who's taller? Frog or Toad? Frog is taller, isn't he? He's holding the teapot. When I was small, not much bigger than a pollywog, said Frog, my father said to me, son, this is a cold gray day, but spring is just around the corner. I wanted spring to come. I went out to find that corner. I walked down a path in the woods until I came to a corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was on the other side. And was it, asked Toad? No, said Frog. There was only a pine tree, three pebbles, and some dry grass. I walked in the meadow. Soon I came to another corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was there. 
Did you find it? asked Toad. No, said Frog, there was only an old worm asleep on a tree stump. I walked along the river until I came to another corner. I went around the corner to look for spring. Was it there? asked Toad. Look at eating that cake. No, said Frog, there was only some wet mud and a lizard who was chasing his tail. You must have been tired, said Toad. I was tired, said Frog, and it started to rain. I went back home. When I got there, said Frog, I found another corner. It was the corner of my house. Did you go around it, asked Toad. I went around that corner too, said Frog. What did you see, asked Toad. I saw the sun coming out. There he is coming around the corner. I saw the sun coming out, said Frog. I saw birds sitting and singing in a tree. I saw my mommy and daddy working in their garden. I saw flowers in the garden. You found it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog, I was very happy. I had found the corner that spring was just around. Look, Frog, said Toad, you were right. The rain has stopped. Frog and Toad hurried outside. They ran around the corner of Frog's house to make sure that spring had come again. There they are. Frog is green and toad is brown. Chapter three, ice cream. One hot summer day, Frog and Toad sat by the pond. I wish we had some sweet cold ice cream, said Frog. What a good idea, said Toad. Wait right here, Frog. I will be right back. Toad went to the store and he bought two big ice cream cones. Toad licked one of the cones. Frog likes chocolate best, said Toad, and so do I. Uma likes chocolate sometimes too. What's your favorite ice cream? To Toad walked along the path. A large, soft drop of chocolate ice cream slipped down his arm. This ice cream is melting in the sun, said Toad. Toad walked faster. Many drops of melting ice cream flew through the air. They fell down on Toad's head. I must hurry back to Frog, he cried. Oh, look at the ice cream. The sun melts it, doesn't it? More and more of the ice cream was melting. It dripped down on Toad's jacket. It splattered on his pants and on his feet. Where is the path, cried Toad. I cannot see. Frog sat by the pond waiting for Toad. A mouse ran by. I just saw something awful, cried the mouse. It's big and brown. Something covered with sticks and leaves is moving this way, cried a squirrel. Here comes a thing with horns, shouted a rabbit. Run for your life. What can it be, asked Frog. Frog hid behind a rock. He saw the thing coming. It was big and brown and it was covered with sticks and leaves. It had two horns. Frog, cried the thing, where are you? Good heavens, said Frog, that thing is Toad. Look at the ice cream cones on top of his head. There's Frog hiding behind the rock. Poor Toad. Toad fell into the pond. He sank to the bottom and came up again. Drat, said Toad. All our sweet, cold ice cream has washed away. Never mind, said Frog. I know what we can do. Frog and Toad quickly ran back to the store. Then they sat in the shade of a large tree and ate their chocolate ice cream cones. Look, there he fell in the lake or the pond. 
And there they're eating their ice cream. Now we're going to have to stop and I will read the next chapter next. It's called The Surprise. We'll see you later, sweetheart.